Hello and welcome to GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. Today is the 18th of August, and although uh, it's not a well-known feast day in many parts of the world, uh, today would be a feast of St. Helena, St. Helen, the mother of Constantine, who made Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire back in the early part of the fourth century, around the year 314, is when Christianity became the official religion of the Roman Empire. But Helena is, is most famous for excavating the Holy Land and discovering the true cross of Jesus Christ and uh, bringing back many of the relics from um, the Holy Land to Rome where uh, where many of them are enshrined in a special church called the Church of Santa Cruce de Jerusalemme, the uh, Church of the Holy Cross uh, in Jeru of Jerusalem. I'll do a video today on this uh, very interesting woman, Saint Helena, and uh, begin with a hymn, fairly familiar hymn, is called For All the Saints. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who thee by faith before the world confess, thy name, O Jesus, be forever Lives of the Saints, called In Celo et in Terra, put together by the Daughters of St. Paul. They write, St. Helena was said to be the humble daughter of an innkeeper. She also became the lawful wife of Constantius Chlorus, who became a general in the Roman army. Together they had a son named Constantine. However, when Constantius rose to power, he divorced Helena and remarried for political reasons to a woman named Theodora. Abandoned, Helena focused her life on her son. When Constantine became the emperor, he became fascinated with Christianity and ended the persecution against the Christians. He also sent for his mother to join him in Rome. Helena embraced Christianity enthusiastically and was baptized. As the beloved mother of the emperor, Helena generously and personally gave alms to the poor wherever she went. She also had some of the first churches in Rome built. Later in life, despite her age, Helena went on a long pilgrimage to the Holy Land, a very difficult and arduous journey. According to tradition, Helena discovered Jesus' true cross there in Jerusalem. She determined that it was the true cross when a very sick leper was healed after he touched it. Helena's great devotion also led her to restore several holy sites and build at least churches, including the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. She died shortly after her pilgrimage. Reflection. 
when constantius left her helena could have allowed bitterness to poison her spirit but instead she shifted the focus of her life first to her son and later entirely to jesus christ her example can encourage us when we suffer betrayal of any type at such moments we can find healing in christ how strongly do i believe in Je that jesus christ is with me in my trials and difficulties prayer saint helena help me to focus my gaze on christ discovering the power of his cross in my daily life amen so we'll say a decade of the rosary for all the persecuted christians throughout the world and there are many in Afghanistan, in different parts of uh, China, in Nigeria and other parts of Africa, and in, in uh, India, there are many, many countries, Pakistan, where, where Christians are still being persecuted in large numbers. Many are suffering unto death and sometimes are undergoing great tortures. So God, give, give us the strength to carry our cross with courage and cheerfulness and help all those who are suffering in a very profound way for, this, for the name of Jesus Christ in the world today. We'll say the, since it's Wednesday, we'll say the descent of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Rosary, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Helena, Saint Constantine, uh, Saint John of the Cross, Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, and all you holy Carmelite saints, pray for us. decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me. The cross
cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back, sing glory, glory, and hallelujah, sing glory, glory, and hallelujah, sing glory, glory, and hallelujah. Thank you so much for watching GFC Visions, Growing in Friendship with Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. Mm -hmm.